Hi, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Solahuddin bin Muhammad And I am a bachelor student of electrical engineering technology Majoring in industrial power Currently, I am doing my internship at ST Microelectronics Sendirian Berhad Located at Muah Johor And my department is CPM test which is Central Preventive Maintenance My industrial uh, supervisor is Chu Chi Chen and my faculty supervisor is Wan Amalia Aida binti Abdul Halim. Okay, uh, now I am going to share a little bit about my company background. Actually, ST Microelectronics is a Franco-Italian multinational electronics and semiconductor manufacturer headquartered in Planless Port. Uh, near Geneva, Switzerland. The company resulted from the merger of two state-owned semiconductor companies in 1987, Thomson Semiconductors of France and SGS Microelectronica of Italy. It is usually called ST, although ST Microelectronics corporate uh, headquarters and headquarters for EMEA region are based in the canton of Geneva. ST Microelectronics uh, parent company and of B is incorporated in the Netherlands. And ST Microelectronics established its first plant in Malaysia in 1974 in the city of Muajuho as part of the ST Back and Manufacturing and Technology BMNT family. ST Microelectronics uh, MUA or usually known as ST MUA has a workforce of over 4,000 making it the largest private uh, sector employer in the city. Okay, uh, there are three major duties uh, during my internship uh, include uh, on how uh, on learning about uh, CPM test manufacturing procedures and SOP. Uh, after that, uh, test cell line maintenance and improvement. And last but not least is learn on how to troubleshoot in systematic approach. Okay, this is the machine that I have learned uh, during my internship, which is called as Delta Matrix 2. Okay, during my internship, my supervisor uh, did gave me the project uh, which is I, I need to do uh, analysis about uh, performance improvement before uh, and after uh, preventive maintenance for the machine okay for CPM implementation for the model machine uh, which is data matrix 2 a simple method for monitoring the performance of machine is called uh, MUBA, which is a uh, mean unit uh, between assists. And the uh, MUBA have uh, its own uh, formula, uh, as you can see, uh, total insertion uh, divided by total jam. And we, as a CPM, we have our own uh, MUBA target. And our MUBA target is uh, at least one alarm for 3,000 units. Okay, as you can see, uh, based on the table, all failure models relating to uh, machine uh, stoppage can be identified as there are several failure uh, modes affecting that uh, mobile of machine. Generally, uh, generally uh, the total of jamming uh, was not the same uh, each week. Okay, uh, as you can see. From the table, uh, handler M013 was the top uh, failure contribute uh, 322 units of each alarm and 310 out of 590 jamming occurred at a PMP output. Okay, uh, there were a few of PMP output alarm uh, examples uh, which include 
output uh, PNP peak operation unable to pick up parts on ZH at A1 and B1 at shuttle output. Uh, this alarm occurred uh, because uh, the PMP head unable to extend and the PMP head unable to extend uh, because the uh, head brake are broken so we uh, temporarily block uh, the head until the uh, machine is empty uh, as a preventive maintenance or CPM we need to uh, upgrade the peak body PMP head so that uh, the machine uh, will not uh, jam uh, as the alarm occur and the second uh, alarm is output uh, PMP uh, peak operation unable to pick up parts on ZH at uh, shuttle output uh, why? because uh, the head vacuum uh, get the value less than 23 so uh, the root cause for uh, this alarm is uh, the vacuum cup uh, damage and uh, we uh, need to change the vacuum cup uh, because when the uh, vacuum cup damage uh, the vacuum uh, is leaking and we uh, as a preventive maintenance we need to add a uh, change vacuum cup on the checklist for 3 months and 6 months ok uh, I am going to share uh, with you about uh, major, major PM for Lenta Matrix 2 ok we as a PM for preventive maintenance we need we should know uh, that each uh, of machine part has an expiration time and PM checklist of items to be exchanged and each item has a defective period uh, in a period of 6 months ok as you can see this is the schematic uh, it, this is the diagram and a picture of a, a PMP head and uh, this is also is a picture of a process on upgrade the peak body of PMP head. Okay, uh, parts that need to be replaced for peak body uh, is include a magnetic uh, shaft clamp, magnetic uh, shaft base, o-ring, uh, u-seal cup, return piston spring, and last but not least is the bushing. Okay, um, this is the process of installing and replacing the peak body parts. Uh, as you can see, this one is uh, parts that need to be replaced. Okay, right after we are replacing and installing the peak body parts, <coughs> we need to do uh, auto teach and hardware alignment. Uh, this procedure aligns the floating locks on dual pitch PNP heads and and then adjust uh, peak tips height to be at the same level uh, which is tip uh, pl planarization as you can see uh, there are two there are, this is the tools that we use during auto teach and hardware alignment uh, the left one is IO PMP and the right one is for the transfer PMP ok as you can see uh, this is the mobile data for M013 right after a uh, major PM and we did improve the machine uh, performance and achieve the mobile target uh, from 322 uh, to 6098 units for each alarm and for the conclusion uh, I am able to expand uh, the technical knowledge and skill of engineering student uh, during my internship and this uh, gave me more opportunities and real work situation experience and last but not least uh, the encouragement and spirit of teamwork uh, among employees and the students thank you very much that's all from me